Good morning, guys. Welcome back to Swampy Druid Game Reviews and More. I'm your host, Dustin. Um, got another early morning commute to work vlog going. Um, this was a segment I thought of last night. Uh, actually, I got, thought of it when I got off work yesterday and just over the night, just kind of just kept thinking about it. And I thought that this would be kind of cool, uh, a little segment to do. Um, creepy enemies in video games. Um, or not really just in in, in, video, in uh, enemies. It could be side characters, anything. Uh, just those those characters that just kind of just give you the willies and just are creepy. Um, you know, there's some that automatically come to mind. Like you've got the Pyramid Head from uh, Silent Hill 2. He's he's just just creepy. Then you got, uh, what was his name on uh, Resident Evil 4, Salazar or something like that, a little demented, demented little midget guy. Um, he's another one that, you know, comes to mind. But, uh, you know, there's a, there's a lot that aren't as well known. Um, let's see. Uh, the, the one that comes to mind the quickest for me, and I'm going to tell this story on myself. Uh, this is a game called, I played on original Xbox called RLH. And the Unjustice in Barrio. Uh, it stands for Run Like Heck. Um, you're on this space station that's infested with like aliens and stuff and it's a uh, it's kind of a you know like a jump scare jump scare game. Um, and it does its it does its uh, it does its name justice. I mean you jump a lot, you run a lot. So anyway I'm going in this area and I've I've you know, tackle the obstacles. I'm feeling pretty confident about myself, and so I go into this hangar, and the hangar is huge. I mean, it's so big you can't even see the ceiling. I mean, it's all dark and everything. So I'm checking every inch of it, going in there like Master Chief. You know, checking every corner. So I'm feeling pretty confident. I'm like, all right, room's cleared, guys. About that time, the enemies start dropping from the ceiling. These little creepy alien guys. I literally jump out of my chair and drop the controller. I mean, that's how much it startled me. Um, and, you know, I, was, I had to give it to them. They, you know, they, I had to give them props. They definitely, you know, got the jump. You know, they got me to jump. So, um, let's see. Another one was, um, I was playing a game called Fear. And I apologize about the lighting. I'm on a, I'm on a little back road. Uh, it's a little shortcut to work. And it's, there's a lot of trees. So, um, I was playing Fear. F-E-A-R First Encounter Assault Recon and uh, those of you who played it know what to expect and uh, those of you who have not played it oh lord <laughs> um, so same deal with same deal with RLH uh, I am you know checking the corners I'm checking all the you know I'm not nothing's getting the drop on me I'm being very thorough so I'm you know climbing through this area and, um, you know, there's nothing around. I've checked everything. So I'm getting ready to climb down a ladder, and I'm sliding down the ladder, and as I get eye level with the floor, this little face just pops right up next to the, just pretty much looks you straight in the eye. I, I, at this point, I was playing the game in the middle of the night. I was working at McDonald's as a manager. I was the kitchen manager there for nine years, and, you know, it's like two, three in the morning, and that little face pops up. So I pause the game. I set my controller down, and I just had to throw my hands up and go, nope, 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 not, not happening, not happening. So I took the game out, and I believe I put the game in the car, or I put it on the porch, I can't remember. All I know is that game freaked me out. I jumped so bad. Um, and I have, to, I have to give myself a hard time about it because no one else was there. Uh, and if I had seen someone else, you know, do the exact same thing, I would be giving them a hard time, so, so, you know, uh, definitely, definitely got to tell on myself about that, um, because I did it, I enjoyed that part, that was hilarious, I mean, I laugh now, but I was so creeped out by this thing, um, and, you know, there's some creepy enemies on, like, Silent Hill 3, that whole game was just, was just, like, kind of creepy, um, You've got some like I mean even even some not you know non survival horror type games or jump scare type games you know you've got those 
those enemies that are just just a little creepy. Uh, one that comes to mind is on the Legend of Zelda: The Ocarina of Time. Uh, the guy that works on Mon Mon Ranch with that weird Wario or uh, Waluigi looking mustache. I mean. Uh, he's he's a little bit creepy. I mean, he wants to own the ranch, and he's just yeah, he's a little creepy um, as well. Um, another another uh, game that does the creepy very well is Limbo. Uh, if you've not got a chance to play it, I strongly recommend you do. It's a beautiful little dark poem of a game. Um, you're this little boy, and you wake up in the forest, and you're looking for your sister. The whole game is done in black and white. It has a lot of uh, like fog, um, you know, elements to the game and stuff. And uh, the the part I'm talking about is the giant spider. If you have played it, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, and if you've seen the trailer, you probably know what I'm talking about. This you know this big giant spider. You get too close, he sticks you with his with his leg. And, you know, it's just, it's a little bit creepy, you know. It took a little while to figure out how to, I knew it was the bear trap. I knew it had something to do with that trap, but, you know, getting it, getting him to to uh, cooperate was a little bit, you know, a little bit challenging. Um, but, yeah, Limbo was definitely a game that, that definitely had that creepy, that creepy, eerie feeling. Uh, and uh, Bioshock did very well as well for that. I mean, you know, Big Daddy is just the icon, you know. You know, you hear that. It sounds like a whale call to me. But you hear that sound, you know you're in for it when Big Daddy's around. Uh, he's this big thing, wears like a diving suit, has a drill for an arm, and you know, you know. But um, another enemy, this was on Bioshock Infinite. Um, I cannot remember his name. It seems like he's like a, an undertaker or something like that. He wears like a long trench coat and stuff. And he uses that uh, Murder of Crows ability. He throws that big swarm of crows at you. Uh, if you played you know, Bioshock Infinite, you know what I'm talking about. Um, he was the same way, just a little odd. Um, just kind of, you know, like, oh my lord, because he can teleport, and you didn't know where he was at. He was just, you know, same deal, just just kind of odd, you know, just a little creepy, and just, you, you know, that anxious feeling you get when, you know, you face off something against like something like that. Um, another, I'm oh, sorry about that, my hand was cramped up. Uh, another one uh, comes to mind is Psycho Mantis from Metal Gear Solid. The first time you play that, when, uh, you know, he, he, you can't do anything. You have to switch controller ports. And uh, if you, and, and on a side note, if you have, uh, if you've ever played Metal Gear Solid on the PS1, it has to be on the PS1. But, um, sorry, I'm still driving and looking to see if the traffic's clear. Um, if you have any other games by Konami on your memory card when you're facing Psycho Mantis, he'll tell you about them. I remember I had a, uh, it was NBA In The Zone 98, and I was playing a season of that as well. Um, and he started talking about all the victories in sports that I had, and, and a few losses, and stuff like that, it was... You know, it's a little like, okay, Dave, how you know this stuff? So, so you know, it's it, it's fun. It really is. Um, and uh, this game here, um, it's a new release. It came out uh, just, a couple, just a few weeks ago. I can't remember. But it's actually very popular right now. And this is Little Nightmares. Uh, little Nightmare does that eerie atmosphere perfect. Uh, you're a little character named Six. I have yet to figure out if you're a boy or a girl. I've heard both. I've heard you're a girl, and then I've heard from other people you're a boy. So I'm going to say it's up to the player to decide whether it's a boy or a girl. You're a little character wearing a raincoat, a yellow raincoat with a hood up. And the only thing you can see is their feet and a little bit of their face. So I'm going to say it's up to the player. The character's name is Six, like the number Six. And uh, they have a lighter, you know, to light up the dark ways. It looks like a little Zippo. Uh, but the game has a just that creepy atmosphere and stuff. But if you've seen the game or played it, you know who I'm talking about. The janitor. He's this. He's you know all the enemies are a lot bigger than you. You know they chase you. They try to catch you. Um, 
the janitor is this guy. He has short, stubby legs and tremendously long arms. He is as blonde as a bat. He cannot see. I don't even think he has eyes. Um, like he has like his skin, like kind of just saggy over his eyes. Uh, anyway, he cannot see, but my lord, can he hear? He will sniff you out. As soon as you step on a board that creaks or anything, he's on you. He's after you with those long arms, and you think you get away, you run under something, and he will pull you out. Or you climb up high, and you think you're safe, and he reaches up and gets you. Um, but like I said, if you've played Little Nightmares, you know the janitor is definitely, he's creepy. I mean, he is, he's very creepy. Um, yeah, he's definitely the, the enemy that, so far, that, He's been the creepy. I've seen the cooks and stuff. And they're, you know, they're a little odd looking. And they're a little weird. And, you know, there's like a, I forget what the woman's name is. Um, I actually played uh, played the game in the entirety. But I played enough to know that that janitor, he's he's one weird dude. I mean, he is a creepy little dude. But uh, anyway, guys, this is just uh, just some of, the, some of the little creepy enemies and characters that I've run across in video games. I'm sure there's more that you've uh, that you've seen or you know ran into. Uh, if you'd like, leave those in the comments below. I mean, I love talking about uh, video games and this sort of thing. So um, anyway, like I said, leave those in the comments. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, hit that like button, uh, subscribe, hit that little bell, the little notification bell over next to subscription. Uh, that way, you'll get uh, notified when I launch a new video. Uh, this is Dustin from Swampy Dirty Game Reviews More signing out.